Hello, dear friends. It's uh, Poet WP again. Here to share with you some more of my poetry. There's a wind horse flag. This is one of my favorite Dolly paintings. This is a picture of a lotus combined with a piece of Alex Gray's art. This is a picture I took in photography class in college. And this, of course, is Avalokiteshvara Bodhisattva, a big shrine of him in Tibet. This is a Salvador Dali painting of Jesus' Last Supper. Anyway, this is my folder I used to use. I've mentioned this before. This poem I'm sharing with you today, um, I wrote this right after Trump took office. And I was kind of disgusted with and and shock and disbelief as most of us were with what the where our country had, the course we had just turned down the road we had just turned down you know I'll, to, I'll elaborate more further on that after I read the poem it's called evaluating the spiritual progress of humanity <clears throat> Second, I had an itch. Okay. Staring at the oblivion of an unknown destiny, as though a self moving path brought me here. This is where it's at? Oh, the few that triumph and flower with their own self fulfilling prophecy. Deathly derailing thoughts. Defeatism is its own disease. With the lost amongst the lost and the dead that are in their grave. And that's the last place any of them want to be. Though we are contrary with this shiny new thing or that brilliant new amusement, we cannot contend with what is going on around us. As the cliche, ostrich with its head in the ground, we live our lives with our heads down. Buried into digital portals, obsessively poring over all the recorded information that's known to man. <clears throat> Whatever suits your fancy. But one day, it will be too late to realize what's always been right there in front of your face the whole goddamn time. Yeah, you can sense a little frustration in that poem. And as always, uh, this poem copyrighted under my pseudonym, my pen name, Gabriel Samadhi. You know, and the the uncertainty and the just disbelief is expressed in that opening line, staring at the oblivion of an unknown destiny. You know, it's like, what the hell is going on? How did this happen? And, you know, as a country, we have to reflect on that, where where we are now as a country. It's not good. We gotta, we gotta turn, turn the ship around, change course. And in this paragraph, I talk about though we are content with the shiny new thing or brilliant new amusement, we cannot contend with what is going on around us. That is something I was really trying to stress the concept of, sort of like what Ram Dass says, you know, be here now, you know, be. In the now, in the presence of the now, uh, you know, if you're constantly poor, I mean, you know, the internet is great. The internet is wonderful. It's marvelous. It's the, it's the greatest tool, uh, in like the in the modern and in, in ages and and maybe even ever. It's brilliant it's liberating it's bringing about this new age of awareness and transparency but at the same time it's a powerful tool and there are certain cautions that must be observed and i was trying to highlight that with this paragraph not only like if we wander around like people are known to do <clears throat> with our heads buried into our phones our digital portholes of information uh, 
then, um, you know, we miss out on the essence of the moment. If we're constantly thinking about the future or the past or something we're studying or looking at, then we're kind of, in a large sense, missing the essence of the moment. We're missing the essence of what's going on around us, what's going on with people around us, what's going on in the environment around us, what's going on internally within ourselves even. It's like we're, we're detaching from all these things and we're missing the true essence of the only tangible thing that exists in an ever-progressing reality, and that is the present moment. So I'm trying to draw attention to the need to unplug and analyze and meditate. Absorb the moment for the moment and the essence of now. Go outside. Zone out. Go look at nature. Go just, you know what I mean? Go clear your head. You know, you got to detach. You got to come back to the source. To stillness. And that's what this is about. Plus, I mean, also, you got the social aspect of, like, everybody running around messing with their phones and stuff while they're trying to drive and, you know, and getting in wrecks. And, you know, that's like a social aspect, like a danger there. And, and you got to worry, you got to consider also just like the simple aspect of, like, you know, people wandering around the streets, you know, with their heads buried in their phone and then they just like cross the street or whatever looking in their phone and they don't look across the when they cross the street and they get hit by a car, you know, crap like that happens all the time. So, you know, you should we should detach from the glorious internet and the convenience of our phones. And um really come back to the presence of now, the only true thing that we have. Now, the constantly progressing now. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you guys like the poem and my little talk about it. I'll share some more. Thank you very much for uh, tuning in, and um, I'll uh, I'll catch you on the next video. And stay true to your higher self, and always have compassion in your heart.